You see, this is exactly where things are going to get quite interesting indeed, because on the 22nd of May 2020, we are going to have a very powerful new moon. And this very powerful new moon is going to be in the horoscope sign of Gemini. This is very important, very important indeed, because Gemini is ruled by Mercury. And Mercury is all about energy, rejuvenation, fun, excitement, positivity, optimism optimism, conversation, you know, socializing. These things are all very specific when it comes to the actual Mercury. And this in itself is very important in particular in conjunction with Gemini and the way this is going to reflect on all of us. New moons in general are quite important when it comes to the new beginnings, when it comes to the new process, <clears throat> sorry, when it comes to the new start in general. So it's always really good like to start things, you know, at the time of the new moon, because you're working with this particular vibration, you're working with this particular energy, and then you are, you are able to get the most of it, you know, and you are able to achieve so much more in general. But when it comes to the actual energy, like uh, in general, at every single new moon, it can be a little bit, little bit draining indeed. And this is because of the specific energy pulls that happens at the same time that reflects on all of us and our vibration is like kind of like in this particular way uh, uh, quite significant when it comes to us feeling like a little bit drained or a little bit tired so what is very much so different about Gemini and the new moon in Gemini on the 22nd of May it's very important to say that this is the exact reason why this new moon is going to be different and why we are going to be able to get like quite a lot out of it at the same time so this is the main huge massive difference that this new moon in Gemini on the 22nd of May we are not going to feel drained we are not going to feel tired we are not going to feel low we are not going to feel drained or anything like that in fact it's just going to basically be a complete opposite and this is because of Mercury and this is going to be a wonderful and very powerful vibration at the same time that we are going to be showered by you see it's not only about the 22nd of May. This, this, this new moon is very special. So the energy and the vibration is just going to start becoming rather illuminated two days before on the actual new moon in Gemini. And then actually the whole week after that, it is going to be all about an important unfoldment, all about an important process. So this is absolutely remarkable when it comes to all of us, when it comes to our lives when it comes to our plannings, when it comes to our future planning, because at the same time, vibration will be different. And we are going to be able to feel this like absolutely beautifully. So that's why, you know, this is this is going to be very significant when it comes to our own process, you know, and also what is going to be quite specific at the same time when it comes to this new moon in Gemini on the 22nd of May 2020. It is also going to uh, really connect us with with the past, which is not going to be like really far down, you know, it's not necessarily about our childhood, if uh, you know, no, it's basically a lot to do with the past, but it's also a lot to do with an unfinished business from the past. This could be like something to do with the work, this could be something to do with the career, this could be stu something to do with like our emotions, this could be something to do with our lives, this could be something to do with our private lives, you know, whatever you think you know, whatever you feel uh, about that particular part or that particular stage of your life at some moment uh, in time, you know, in the past, that it was kind of left unfinished. But it's just so important, so important through this wonderful sacred energy to actually realize what this is. And this is what's also really wonderful about this new moon in Gemini, because this is what is going to happen. It is going to be the sudden need, you know, to think about the specific area of your lives or of our lives. And we are just going to find ourselves like like really drifting away, like in a sense of like, for example, uh, when it comes to our subconscious mind, when it comes to our intuition, when it comes to our inner power, uh, when it comes to our inner illumination, this is all going to be rather highlighted, you know, throughout this period, throughout this stage. And this is why when I say like, you know, it's 
very important to pay attention to what you are thinking at around the time when you're like relaxing and what is keep on like kind of repeating on your mind at the same time. So when we are relaxing, whether we are doing like a, some kind of meditation, you know, whether we are like a grounding ourselves just basically by touching the grounds with our hands or by touching the grounds with our feet, you know, whatever we do, it doesn't really matter the way we connect in a such a way where we can just connect with our subconscious mind and we, we can when we connect with our intuition we don't have to like even uh, uh, um, you know like meditate or ground ourselves we can just basically every time when we are relaxed and we are drifting away maybe like a bit of a lucid dreaming or maybe like you're just thinking you know and then suddenly something is at the back of your mind it's just so important my gorgeous people just to make sure that we understand that there are certain parts of our spiritual journey are going to be very much so highlighted at this moment in time and this is why this is going to be so special it's almost like a gift from a god you know it's gift from angels you know from your spirit guides you know it's going to be very important to actually just to try to pay attention to what you're feeling constantly drawn to you know from your past from the past because the certain element from your past is just going to return and it's most certainly going to require your attention so this is very very important important to actually pay attention to because it's not like oh it's just oh an unfinished business no baby no this is a lot to do with specifically who we are what our uh, role is on this earth because every single one of us is like absolutely fantastic and brilliant for something you know for different things indeed so it all it depends on our own spiritual journeys on who we are how far we have come how far we need to go and it's to do with our future planning and also it's so important to understand that this is to do with a really sacred process this is an important moment in time that new moon in Gemini it's actually going to bring us the beginning of a sacred process and this is going to give us this absolutely mind-blowing opportunity as well to kind of like come to terms with certain things you know come to terms with indecisive situation from the past at the same time it's just going to be pretty much so connected to this and the decision an important decision is going to be made this is another thing that it's very important. So it's very important to try to single out what is constantly playing out on your mind. As I said, it could be like while you're meditating, it could be while you're grounding yourself, it could be while, it could be while you're relaxing, it could be while you're dreaming as well. You know, the certain things can come to you while you're dreaming. This is also very important because while we are dreaming, dreaming we are connected to our subconscious mind so much. So at the same time, you know, we are having all sorts of like things happening to us. We are thinking in a different way because uh, the rest of our brain is just like working that normally doesn't work when we are conscious you see so it's all about this unconscious mind being unlocked at the same time while we are dreaming so we travel through all sorts of dimensions through all sorts of directions and this is why this is so important also to pay attention to your dreams but at the same time my gorgeous people throughout this time you need to pay attention also my lord this is so important like what is the very first thing on your mind in the moment Morning. I say this many times, you know, it could be just some kind of direction that you, it could be just uh, like some kind of direction, like in a sense of like, oh, do this and do that, you know, like go and maybe wash the car or go and maybe wash the windows, you know, whatever is the very first thing on your mind in the morning. It could be something very specific and very important to pay attention to, which you will know, of course, but on another hand, it could be just a plain direction, like, oh, it's just suddenly, you know, you have like, oh, I want to wash the carpet or something like that. This is the direction you know uh, from your spirit guides from your angels you know from, this is an important direction coming deeply from your subconscious mind trying to guide you towards the direction so it's not about washing the carpet or doing something but it's about following this powerful vibration this powerful direction which is going to also at the same time going to bring you at the right moment in time some kind of realization while you're following this important and very very powerful process indeed so it's all about really being in tune with yourself by following your own messages at the same time this is a very powerful time i really have to say uh, when it comes to the actual new moon in gemini so this is just something that i really want people to pay attention to because this most certainly this is to do with our own personal progress okay 
Another thing that I was going to say when it comes to the actual new moon in Gemini, it's also try to, like this is specifically, you know, try to like kind of like uh, throughout this time to meditate. This is something that I really highly recommend you. And you know, when I say the meditation, uh, you will be able to achieve the deepest levels of your own meditations. And this is so important, you know, like you can just basically just lie down, you know, on the bed or lie down wherever you feel like lying down basically and just relax for the few minutes you know uh, uh, it can only be like about two or three minutes meditation or it can only be like about it can be like about 15 or 20 minutes it's up to you how long you feel specifically to do this in order to relax in order to re reach you know the very high and specific levels of your subconsciousness you know it's important to say this and also uh, when you're meditating just try to really just you know lie down and just try to imagine this beautiful white light going around your head and then as the white light is going down around your head you know you're just also thinking about relaxing this is relaxed at the same time as it is protected and the white light is beautifully going down on your shoulders and it's going down around your body it's going down around your hips it's going down, down around your you know legs and it's slowly traveling down and while it's traveling uh, traveling down you must imagine this like this is rejuvenating you this is protecting you this is enhancing Enhancing you and it's enhancing your power and by the time you imagine this beautiful uh, white light going around your body by the time it goes down to your feet you see at the same time just remember that our mind is so powerful the power of thinking um, uh, the power of that energy you know we are thinking but we project this energy without realizing sometimes you know if you think positive you're gonna project positive if you if you think negative you're gonna project negative and also you're gonna attract the same things it all depends what you're thinking because this this is the creation this is the vibration that you are creating at the same time so this is why it's so important to understand the power of our own mind when it comes to protecting ourselves while we are meditating and when it comes to shielding ourselves shielding ourselves at the same time by protecting ourselves this can be done within few minutes or it can be done in like about 10 minutes 15 minutes it's very important to try to get into that meditation stage stage because it is also something very important it's going to be revealed to you something very important and quite significant when it comes to your own life when it comes to your own spirituality when it comes to the actual uh, a certain vision you know not that long after you will be having a vision which will be very important for you as well to understand because that it's going to be an important moment in time when it comes to your own focus when it comes to your own radiance and when it comes to your own invocation which is going to lead to was an important, important, important unfoldment, an important unfoldment in your life indeed. And this is to do with a new beginning and it's a most certainly to do with the actual completion, but at the same time, it's to do with the new beginning. You know, when the completion happens, you know, uh, uh, the new beginning will manifest at the same time as well. So the rejuvenation through meditation and grounding would be absolutely wonderful. Please do so because this is going to help you with your own unfoldment but in particular when it comes to the vision which will be like an idea but an important part of your life will be revealed like this because you are doing this at the right moment in time in particular when it comes to the actual new moon in Gemini very important to say that two days prior the 22nd of May on the 22nd of May and one week later as well this is all going to be a quiet significant time to actually do this because it's going to to help you with your own particular progress okay and also when it comes to the actual grounding this is also another thing that is just so important when it comes to like rejuvenating yourself in a such a way when you're using this powerful vibration you're enhancing your intuition at the same time but it's all about the vision that will be provided to you and that vision is important because it's going to be connected to your future planning it's all about the creativity excitement optimism and the future plan just remember this is a wonderful moment in time and it's a very powerful it's probably the only new moon that is actually uh, making people feel in this particular way and this is thanks to Gemini being ruled by Mercury indeed so this is why this is a rather sacred moment in time that we are actually going to have and it's and it's going to be really important when it comes to us and when it comes to our personal progress okay 
On another hand, what else I was going to say that is going to be quite significant in this moment in time, my gorgeous people, it's also just to basically uh, try to uh, uh, see also at the same time uh, what makes you happy and what is making you very creative. What, what, what part of your life that you think about, it's making you happy and it's making you creative because that in itself, it's also going to be an important moment in time of change. This is going to be the beginning of change, but when it comes to our lives and when it comes to things that we do, but it's just all about taking things on the next level indeed, but also about understanding our own situation and also it is about the accomplishment at the same time that is just going to become a rather vibrant moment in time when it comes to our accomplishment. It's quite interesting the way things are going to start unfolding on this new moon. You know, it's important to say that some kind of negative aspect of our lives, it's also going to come to slowly to an end. A long ongoing problem, it's going to come to an end and the conclusion is just going to seem like, oh my God, that's another thing that I was going to say. The third important thing is a conclusion. There's something, you know, that was creating a problem to us. This is the third important thing I was going to say. It's about it, the actual conclusion, an important conclusion after the period, after the strange and, and, and weird and bizarre period of culmination, perhaps, for example. So it's like about the conclusion to a problem or to all of us individually, but also it is just like all about the bigger picture that is just affecting every single one of us. An important conclusion is going to take place and that conclusion is going to be a reflection of everything that's happening around the world everything that's happening around us. This is the one way, one thing. And another conclusion that we are going to have, the second part of this, it's about us. It's about who we are. And it's about also about the problem that we had for a while, you know, and this is to do with us individually. And this is wonderful, wonderful time that is just going to really uh, bring us this beautiful problem solving moment without we even realizing this, without even realizing without even thinking too much but it's just so amazing the way this 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 cleverness you know this clever energy is actually going to come through it's going to come forward and it's most certainly going to reflect on us and it is going to indeed help us to get and reach uh, uh, the actual peak of our own radiance and this peak of our own radiance is at the same time going to help us to illuminate the situation and the energy of around us. And this illumination will be very important and very powerful because it's going to help us to realize things around us that we didn't realize before that are so specific, that are so important, that are at the same time so powerful. All these things are going to start creating the same one bigger picture, but most certainly it is the conclusion, you know, an important conclusion. This is the time of the actual end. This is the time of ending. This is the time of the completion, not in a bad way, my baby not at all this is that this is a really good thing because it's the completion of the spiritual journey that no longer serves us anymore and it's just basically ended up you know dragging a uh, dragging you know it ended up when karmically something comes to an end then these specific things sometimes without us even realizing are draining our energy until we realize that we reach the certain point and it's up to us because it's up to our spiritual journey it's up to our in intuition, it's up to our spiritual progress, you know, where we actually are to realize, you know, to, to, to realize this at the right moment in time. And this happens periodically and it happens different to every single one of us normally, of course. But when it comes to the actual new moon in Gem Gemini, this is the sacred energy that I'm talking about because this is most certainly going to provide us with the actual realization, with a way out of the situation. But collectively, as I said, as the whole world is going to find this rather beneficial on one hand but then on another hand individually this is going to be absolutely wonderful when it comes to our own problems this is brilliant please number four the fourth thing i was going to also say which is ridiculously important throw yourself in the water my gorgeous people throw yourself in the water if you don't jump in the water you will never learn how to swim and this my babies it's the time to throw yourself in the water and then learn how 
to swim later meaning that it's just like please use this sacred energy to actually see how important this is going to be when it comes to challenges you know it's an important time when it comes to challenging situations like in particular when it comes to like a people who are maybe in between us and in between something really important so did someone did someone ever made you feel like really negative or really frustrated or really bad or did someone intimidate you so much that you are just like not really you don't know how to act not that you don't know how to act but sometimes people certain people have a very negative energy around them it's very strong and it's very negative and it can be intimidating because of lots of reasons and sometimes these people are the exact people that we need to talk about something important talk about something significant for example and and this is why this is so important like any conversation and that you want to have that you need to have with somebody like uh, uh, that you need to talk and, and you feel uncomfortable about this is absolutely fantastic moment in time all you need to do my gorgeous people is just go out there and you just open your mouth and by opening your mouth you know you're just also unlocking an incredible spiritual door the spiritual door of power the spiritual door of change the spiritual door of courage the spiritual door of self-esteem you do not need to worry about anything all you need to do you just need to start your process start the process by making it happen and Everything else is going to be down to your angels, down to your spirit guides, down to all sorts of dimensions that we are always part of anyway. But now you're just going to be gliding through these doors like there is no tomorrow. So this is an incredible opportunity to deal with the problems, deal with the issues, deal with situations, with the people that are making us feel uh, intimidating. But we need to deal with them to solve the problems. So any problems that you want to solve and deal with people that are bringing you down and making you feel negative, just go for it because the outcome is going to be good you will be brave and most certainly it's going to work in your favor number five it's also important what i was going to say any type of negotiations that you want to have my gorgeous people this is the great time for the negotiations okay because you're gonna find yourself like being very clever you know i'm not saying that you're not clever please don't get me wrong but it's this wonderful energy of gemini beautiful very sharp very powerful very witty very cute you know but very intelligent you know but Gemini always know what to say you know at, at exactly the right time and this is why it is just so important to try to use this because you can feel this intelligence you can feel this cleverness and it makes you feel really like uh, rejuvenated and, and creative in so many different ways and we are also going to be attracted to all sorts of things that we are not normally attracted to in particular when it comes to our own expansion and in particular when it comes to our own learning process you know when it comes to our spiritual journey it is just so great time to actually uh, uh, test the water also you know try things test things but most certainly it's just the basically to any type of negotiations that you want to have any new beginning any new signings you know uh, uh, and things like that it will be absolutely absolutely wonderful and to make you know like a big decisions you know to also make a big decisions important decision you know it, it is quite a remarkable moment in time but it's just on another hand just basically it is absolutely perfect to start any new process any new signing uh, uh, and things like that it's going to be absolutely remarkable because this is all about the actual our own expansion and it's all about the next step that we are going to have at the same time okay and also what else I was going to say number five it's important to say at the same time the number five what to pay attention to it is the brilliant time to connect and reconnect with the nature by trying to also rejuvenate yourself by drinking as many like a herbal teas that you possibly can I know it sounds weird like herbal teas but it's absolutely remarkable if you could pick them yourself if you can get them yourself instead of maybe buying them buying herbal teas you know you can it would be absolutely super important if you could go and get a little herbs by yourself just cut them 
down. There's so many uh, like uh, herbs that you can actually do, uh, that you can actually try, that you can actually actually taste. You know, it depends where you live in which part of the world. You know, you can even use like uh, you know from the chamomile uh, tea. Uh, one of my favorite is also like a dandelion tea, dandelion root, and dandelion tea. It's absolutely everywhere. You know, try to uh, get herbs like this. You know, like or even evergreen. You know, like evergreen, like uh, the actual from the forest. You know, from the tree, evergreen tree. You know, you can all pine. You know, like a pine tea. You can also make like a pine tea. It all depends on our speci on us specifically. This is all about us, and it's about our connection with the earth, about connection with the mother earth. It's about our connection and reconnection at the same time. It's so important for you to understand. It's not about going into the shop and buying this. No, baby, no. It's about you trying to connect and reconnect with the nature by seeing what is calling you. What is, what are you feel drawn towards? You know, like, well, let's say you're in the forest and you see like, um, I don't know, you see like a chamomile or something growing and then you're like suddenly, oh, I want this chamomile, I want to, I want to taste this chamomile, you know, and then you will just know, you need to listen to yourself, you need to listen to your spirit, you need to listen to your soul, you need to connect this uh, through this way, there is no need to go and buy these things because everything we'll, we need, it's in the actual nature, it's so much better for you, it's so much healthier for you and it's absolutely perfect perfect when it comes to your own vibration because it doesn't contain any horrible chemicals or any nastiness that they can actually put in these things nowadays. For once, this is coming from your own spirit, you know, recommendation because this is how your own spirit works through you, but you just have to let it happen. So you just have to let, let it happen by following this wonderful vibration, this powerful energy flow and see what do you feel connected to when it comes to like a picking this herbs like it, it's just so important because on another hand your body will be telling you what body needs okay your body will be telling you what your body needs through your own spirit and this is why this is so important you need to see which herbs you're feeling connected to and these herbs will be so important to you they will be like a medicine they will be like a food you know they will be like the greatest source of the actual rejuvenation that you can possibly give give, give to yourself in order to enhance yourself in order to flush out the toxins out of the body but also most certain to increase your power this power that will be increased it increased it's also going to bring you the creativity and promise as well at the same time in those areas in those parts of your life that you wouldn't even think about or even think of this is all an important thing to actually try to do because this is the way you connect to yourself through the actual herbs around you and it's just so rejuvenating it's absolutely incredible as I said, we are all different. We are all d d different on a different spiritual journey indeed. And that's why we are just going to be connected to the different herbs, for example. But it's just something so, so, so important to actually try to do and just basically throw yourself in because you will, be, you will find it remarkable how great you're going to feel, how good this is going to make you feel. But it's most importantly, it's about the actual effect of the actual uh, cleansing yourself out of all sorts of negativity, giving yourself all these powerful herbs. And at the same time, it is just going to blo uh, unblock lots of negative energies within you, you see. Uh, and, and, and also, it is just going to flush out the toxins, you know, the health benefits from this, through this, and especially when it happens to the actual new moon in Gemini, it's going to be absolutely remarkable indeed. Number six, what I was going to say also, also, number six, my gorgeous people, this is going to be an interesting one. You basically try to uh, find a little bit of sun, You're like try to find a little, <laughs> try to find a little bit of sun. You know, maybe you can do this like while you're 
if you're at home you can look through the glass you know but I would I would specifically it would be great to be outside actually in the sun you know on a balcony or open window uh, or outside in the forest or, or in your garden you know and have a little moment you know, when you have a little moment when you feel very specific have a little psychic moment when you're asking yourself what would you like to find out what would you like to achieve in your life like for example what answer would you need to answer but most importantly uh, uh, what what answer would you need would you like to have the answer to when it comes to your life or what would you need to know you can connect to yourself you know through your own spirituality by actually try to look through your own third psychic eye all you need to do my gorgeous people it's so interesting because you can see all sorts of things you can find out all sorts of things you can like get to know so many different things about yourself and about people People around you at the same time there are all sorts of specific informations that you can get through this uh, visualization this is a very powerful moment in time that you can do so basically you just find the Sun and first you just look at towards the Sun like this and you're just like kind of relax yourself you close your eyes a little bit and you're absorbing this Sun you're basically also like kind of relaxing yourself at the same time you must make sure that you're not like straining yourself and you must make sure that you're completely or have this part of your face like completely relaxed when it comes to your eyes when it comes to your eyebrows when it comes to your forehead when it comes to this part of your head you see this all can like kind of be tense you know sometimes you know without us even realizing so this is really important just while you're relaxing yourself and absorbing this gorgeous sun the sun is everything the sun is so important oh my god nothing can live without a sun so that's why I'm saying you're just like grab this not grabbing but you are absorbing this gorgeous sun energy and at the same time you're re relaxing yourself here and at the same time you're basically like uh, as soon as you're like uh, kind of you're paying attention to these parts you know when they're completely relaxed then you just start letting the sun in you start letting the sun in you start letting the sun in at the same time the sun goes deeper and deeper and deeper and at the same time it's rejuvenating you and it's helping you with your own enlightenment and when you feel that the sun is going deeper you just say to yourself just let the sun in let the sun in let the sun in through all sorts of barriers you know the sun is going to come in and the barriers happen when we are tense and we are not relaxed you see so that's why it's important to be relaxed now when you get that moment important moment of relax um, relaxation this is basically when you just like a now you just focus like in this part in between your two eyes you know in between your eyes you just focus on this bit you focus on this part and now when you let the sun in through the sun you just imagine like you're, you're still having your eyes closed and you're looking through this bit you see you imagine that there is an eye in between which you have which we all have the third psychic eye indeed and it's very powerful and this is how you give it a chance you know this is how you rejuvenate it this is how you give it give the actual power to it and this is how you open it and then once it's open you're just looking through it and you're just relaxing and looking through it and see what comes to you it's beautiful it's gorgeous it's very very interesting the way things unfold for different people how different people see different things but most certainly this will be very important because quite significant things are also going to be revealed to you um, through this particular way you can just relax and you can just look look through it and see you know what is coming to you what do you feel like you know uh, what is behind you know just see 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 what is coming to you you see it is maybe it will require maybe a couple of two or three times to do it until you kind of get to um until you kind of kind of become experienced with it and things like that but most most of the time it just happens straight away from the first moment in time and it's quite interesting what can be revealed to you it's also very sacred a moment in time and it's perfect to do this throughout this time when it comes to the actual new moon in Gemini because what this is going to do it's also going to help you to connect yourself on a different level on a very spi a spiritual level on a very psychic level 
level and it's also gonna be very much so important when it comes to the actual focus when it comes to the activation when it comes to the harmony coming to you at the same time in particular when it comes to the unfoldment of an important event that you will be kind of like aware of through this particular situation so this is also something that I was going to say to do just to basically go and see what is most certainly uh, going to be very uh, significant to actually do at this moment in time my gorgeous people and also do you know it's just a basically about uh, um, or, or another on another hand what else I was going to say the seventh thing uh, it's just a basically uh, 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 quite important to try to like a smudge your home at the same time throughout this time I would ideally try to smudge the home like beforehand um, like 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 a couple of days before at least you know uh, before the new moon or on the new moon but it's so important because this is going to help you with the energy shift you know at the same time because this is going to be the different new moon so it's also going to be quite remarkable to actually work with this vibration and work work to work with this energy by trying to also think about the immediate environment around you because the immediate environment around us is affecting us you know the most because it's the place that we spend the most of the time in for example so our immediate envi immediate environment it will be absolutely perfect if you can just take like a dry sage burn it take a little saucer underneath and go into every single room in the house and just make sure that it's smoked you know make sure the windows are closed first uh, 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 and then go into the, every single room in the house and then at the end you know you can say the little prayer you can say a little chant you can say a little affirmation you know uh, 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 you can say a little mantra however you feel like it then basically at the end you just open the window and as the negative uh, as the as the smoke goes away the negative energy will go away at the same time but at this moment in time we will really specifically benefit from this like there is no tomorrow because we are also going to clean ourselves as well cleanse ourselves as well with that we don't even need to do this around us you know this energy this this smoke is going to be wonderful and it's going to protect us at the same time by cleansing us if you feel tired two or three days after if you feel like really drained and tired you know this is actually really good it's brilliant which means that you have a certain amount of negative energy accumulated within you and so that's why this is the process of cleansing which is a draining a little bit but it's brilliant because the more tired you feel as I said before the more negative energy you had and the more negative energy you will get rid of and after that moment in time you're going to be very highly vibrational person with a really high energy and the really the peak of air radiance is going to be rather illuminated and people are going to be able to like notice you like oh my god you look amazing oh you look like really shiny and bright you know and things like that people have been saying this a lot when they saw other people actually cleansing themselves with a dry sage so this is something that I also also highly recommend but at the same time and important to do something karmically you know like 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 it, it, it's all about getting rid of the old and bring in the new but karmically 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 is just a basically if you have like a little figurine like a little cat like this for example and now uh, you will just want to uh, kind of like a, let, let's say you want to give this cat to someone else after a long time and and, and I give this like a present to someone and then uh, it, I do something really beautiful because I make that person happy for example but then karmically I do something wonderful you see at the same time but at the same time I, I am working around myself I'm changing things around me which is just so important when it comes to our own personal vibration so you I give this to someone and then I just replace it with something else different object for example and this is so important when it comes to our personal vibration so this is something that I really want to uh, also recommend to do and it's really important uh, to do when it comes to the actual new moon in Gemini but I think this is just going to be super 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 important uh, uh, when it comes to our personal development when it comes to our personal unfoldment so what am I going to do now? 
I'm just going to be, I'm just going to shuffle these cards now. And it's just, you see, when it comes to the actual new moon in Gemini, it's just about the happiness, you know, the beautiful energy of happiness, you know, the energy uh, which is going to be so important for our balance. I'm not saying that we were all miserable, but once we get to this beautiful, gorgeous Gemini energy on a new moon, you know, it's just this beautiful happiness that we are going to feel. And this in itself is also going to create a new starting point when it comes to relaxation but in the best possible way when I say like relaxation when it comes to like an, an, an unknowing uh, a part of our lives that have been affecting us with an uncertainty and uncertainty it's going to have a really nice flip-flop moment so that is going to come to an end and it's going to become like relaxation moment but also we will feel that energy pull that energy shift when it comes to the actual change 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 this is an important value vibration that we're going to benefit from all of us like there is no tomorrow it's all about the change 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 and it's all about realizing important things about ourselves important things about our lives which are going to come through our own accomplishments but also an inspiration 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 will be very important you know this moment in time when it comes to this new moon in gemini it's all about the actual security and it's all about the two choices, two choices that we're going to have, a couple of choices that are going to be absolutely remarkable, remarkable. And these two choices that we are going to have is going to be pretty much so connected to our own security and power, but in the best possible way, indeed, and intuitively, intuitively, this is going to be ridiculously important time because intuitively, we, we're going to have a, such a strength, such a powerful strength, which is going to help us to make an important decision out of an indecisive situation that was like a, a, around us a long time and this in itself it's going to lead towards the new beginning towards the new start in particular when it comes to the actual control over the situation you know that that was just making life a little bit unusual you see three of coins this is absolutely wonderful you see it's all about an, an important continuation it's all about the normality it's all about doing things it's all about the movement it's it's all about the progress. It's all about the next stage. It's all about an important conversation with the people, around people. It's all about the change at the same time, but also the step in the right direction. It's about the security, an important security, which is at the same time going to come through, at the same time going to come forward. It is just going to be so important because it's going to be like a breath of a fresh air. You know, this energy is just going to be absolutely remarkable. You know, it's all about doing the right things and it's all about kind of like a starting to feel this sense again of like things are moving on you know things are happening things are finally unfolding towards the right direction three of coins is a very very important card uh, and also when it comes to like um, how uh, impactful we are going to be when it comes to the solving certain problem every single one of us every single one of us is going to be beneficial to every single one of us based Basically, when it comes to things that we say, things that we feel, things that we want, things that we know, you know, we, our own input will be very, very important here indeed. Okay, so now I'm going to take the second tarot card, my gorgeous people, and this is for the new moon in Gemini on the 22nd of May. Okay, page of pentacles, you see now it's, oh, this, this is great, please, it, it is just be as optimistic as you possibly can be as open-minded as you possibly can because it is just absolutely remarkable how the opportunity is going to come to us by being who we are by being ourselves i'm not saying that we are not ourselves or anything like that but the gemini is just so powerful to get the most out of you like when most out of us when we are like expressing ourselves so through our own expression through us being ourselves through an important moment in time it's going to happen to every single one of us through us being ourselves we are going to create and raise you know rise our own vibration to the highest level and that is going to create something absolutely mind-blowing here because it's going to provide us with 
an opportunity, powerful, golden, absolutely remarkable opportunity that we are going to have, you know, at the end of this stage, at the end of this period. This is an absolutely incredible moment in time because it's all about the opportunity coming through, which is at the same time going to become absolutely remarkable moment of radiance, which is going to lead towards our own illumination indeed. Look at this, the magician absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful you see it's all about the new start it's all about the new beginning it's all about what i said you know it's just about like expressing ourselves this this time is absolutely remarkable when it comes to expressing ourselves you know and listening to our spirit and listening to our soul because it is just uh we are at the end of this we're going to learn something really important about ourselves we're going to learn something important about the next stage about the, what we are going to do next you know things are going to seem much better things are going to seem much brighter things are going to seem much more important but most importantly optimistic and remarkable when it comes to some kind of realization about us this is all about us individually and about the specific thing that we're going to take for long that we're going to take far 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 it's who we are it's what we want to do it's where we want to be in this life but it's just going to be one step at a time something very important is going to happen something very important is going to take place through this change but most certainly we're going to find out something absolutely uh brilliant about ourselves you know about our skill about what we are really special about and what the next stage is going to be an important 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 revelation it's most certainly going to take place and this is why I say it's just so significant and a powerful moment which is going to help us to reconnect with ourselves but most certainly it's going to bring so much light and so much knowledge and so much power to our own spiritual journey. It's, it's quite remarkable, remarkable, remarkable indeed. Okay, my gorgeous people, thank you ever so much for watching my videos. Sasha Bonasin, Psychic Medium.